Alright guys, hello, welcome back to some more Farming Simulator 19 gameplay. Today we are doing uh, our main series, which is Oakfield Farm, here in the lovely UK. Um, sorry I haven't been posting Farming Simulator YouTube videos for like, God knows, four months, maybe? Because my recording stuff software is stuffed up, and I haven't, I didn't really get around to fixing it up, but I, I fixed it up, and it should be good now. Right. So today, what do we have to do on farm? We let's have a go. Let's go have a look at the crops in the ute. Oh, yeah. It'll start up. Oil circular. Keeping anything. So here, in this field here, we got some canola. Um, lots of growth stages on that. Uh, one more from done. So it's been fertilised four percent. I could fertilise fertilise those if I wanted to, which I think I might do. But I've got another field down here I can also plow up and plant um, some more stuff in, which I think we're going to do. Let's just go and plow that up. Let's, let's reverse out of here in the, in the Chevy. Whoops, hit that brick wall. Sorry if my game's really laggy. Uh, Chevy makes the game a bit laggy because I don't have a, a PC that's that powerful. I only got a GTX 1050 Ti graphics card with the Core i5 processor. So I'll show you the field I'm talking about. This, oh, this field over here, you see where the grass is planted? I am just not sure how to get in there. I think it's through this gate here. Of course it swings back that way. How do I get in? Let me see where the proper gate is. Oh, it's right there. Alright, now we go and get the tractor. Stuck on the wall. Oh, 
we're gonna use our Massey Ferguson 8737. Got to try and get it out here without scraping the Lambini. Nice and smooth. Alright. I'm going to use the... Actually, I'm just going to use the flat card. I'm going to rent the power. Or the subsoiler. I'm just going to use the subsoiler because it'll need to be plowed anyway, so I'll be doing it with one thing. So we, we're going to use this one. And then we'll just reset that one to the farm. There we go. And now I'll go and hook it up and plow that thing. Making our way. Oops, I'm stuck on the shed. Pretend we can see that. Just making our way down to the field, grassy meadow. Alright, we're here. I think. Oh, I hope this isn't one of those unplayable ones. Yeah, it is, but no fuss, we can just do this. Return that, even though that was a waste of four grand. But we can buy. Forgot I had this mod installed. It's in plows. And we can buy this John D. Chisel plow. It's actually pretty good. And we'll just go and reset that back to the farm. A bit laggy. It's a bit shitty, but what can I do? Next time I record, I'm going to try and make it better. Make it work better. Oh. Yeah. So we got to look out where we're driving with this because it's quite wide. Go around here carefully because you know what happened last time. And we'll shut the gate so it's not in our way when we're plowing.
nice and simple. So you do it. Back up there a little bit. Alright, got our first pass done. On these British UK fields, I like to, because most of them are usually round and odd shapes, so you can, I just like to go doing this formation when I'm ploughing or whatever because I find it easy and sometimes if the field's got more flat aside so I, uh, I will just go back and forwards just the usual this little patch gotta go back here a bit Nice and smooth, isn't it? I really like uh, the ground textures. Oxygen David, which is the person who made this map, if you don't know. I really like the ground textures and uh, he put in here. I reckon they're pretty nice and they suit the environment. The, the, the map is styled after. It's strange how in the store for this plow it says it it's uh it only requires like 160 horsepower. So I'm thinking real life this would require at least 300 horsepower. Because it's like a chisel. Wow. And I was digging deep and a whole lot, like, so you'd probably need a lot of horse, but I've got no idea. But this Massey here, I got it, the engine's upgraded to 400 horsepower, the highest it can go. 
and I'm outside work so I can play. Do I just miss that spot? Because she's not a good girl. She's a good girl. For some reason in farming simulator when you play our field you just feel so satisfied that you stand there and have a look at the job you've done. Looks good. I reckon this will be the last pass after this. Actually, I'm going to change the time to five. Just get everything growing and happening quicker. My mouse kind of doesn't work. It, it doesn't. My button kind of stuffs up sometimes. It lags a bit. It's only that one for some reason. It's weird. Might as well save the game while we're here. We'll go fix this little bit up up here. This little ugly. I think I'm going to plant barley on this field here. done with that. Let's see what it needs. It needs lime, I thought it would. We'll go get the Landini, Landini and Get the spreader and get some water. Just pop this in here for the barbie. Actually, I'm just going to leave it out because we'll probably need it later. We'll get the land in. Get the spreader. Now we'll go and spread our fields with lawn. A few 
lag spots every year and then. Damn it, gotta go shop this annoying guy. to zoom out really far with this one. It's just easier for me. Easy does it. For some reason the new farming simulator patch gives you these little lags that are like do, 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 do. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah like that, oh lags, little lags like that and it just look like this and it's really really annoying when you try to drive it makes you human Like that I heard it on uh, the Farming Simulator News YouTube channel. You should go check him out, he has some good videos. His name, name of the channel is Silver, Silver News. Got some good videos on there about Farming Simulator News and new mods and stuff. Damn it! Keep going too far away! Oh my god! This lag is absolutely horrendous! I've never lagged so bad in Farming Simulator. nearly done this field guys, I wonder if we'll make it without having to get some more line. Gotta go get some more lime from the lime silo.
Thank you. 